And they say, what? Hold on, let me see. So he walked to the window, cool as shit. He had some dress shoes, so he slid over there a little bit. Oh, those suckers about to pay. From Get Out, renewing our faith in TSA agents, Lorel Howard. First of all, I'm from Chicago, and you know, Chicago's known for a lot of things. You know, hot dogs and pizza. The Cubs won the World Series, and violence. A lot of fucking violence. <laughs> and <laughs> my father is one of those dudes who's from an old era. Like he wasn't a Black Panther, but he was like in a gang that. I guess didn't really exist for, I don't know. I don't necessarily believe him in shit that he was in the real gang. But he was in one of those earlier gangs where they like made breakfast for the community and walked people across the street, that type of shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, the true story, right? So we grew up, I lived in a bad neighborhood growing up, you know, and most of the neighborhoods, you just how you know a neighborhood bad when people sit on anybody's car. <laughs> they don't give a fuck who car it is. You know? <laughs> You gotta humbly ask too, excuse me, uh, I know y'all just having a good time drinking on my cop, but uh, <laughs> I need to go to work this evening, and it's okay. <laughs> so I remember getting off the bus one day, and I'm walking down the street, and I see a bunch of dudes on the car, and I'm like, oh fuck, they're on my father's car. And I go upstairs, and I'm, I'm going back and forth, because he still think he could take these young people, I don't fucking know why. See, I, and let me tell you, I got a 70s dad, I don't know if anybody ever had a 70s father growing up, like, <laughs> One of them cool motherfuckers, right. It's, it's how my daddy used to walk, just like this. This is. Every time he talking like he had to pee. Hey, man, which one of you suckers taking out the garbage? That's how he talk. <laughs> so. <laughs> for some reason, he still think he tough as shit. So I get in the house, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to tell him they on his car, but I, I hope he don't do no extra shit. So I'm like, hey, dad, look, now, nah, before I tell you this, tell me you're going to chill out. You gonna tell me what to do? Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, look, uh, it's a bunch of dudes sitting in your car, right? So <laughs> they like, say what? <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm laughing because I ain't told this story in a long time. <laughs> they say what? Hold on, let me see. So he walked to the window, cool as shit. <laughs> he had some dress shoes, so he slid over there a little bit. Oh, those suckers about to pay. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm like, look, man, Dad, I gotta tell you this. These are gangster disciples, okay? They had a, a documentary on them a few weeks ago <laughs> on a biography channel. I don't think you wanna do this shit. They will murder you. He's like, look, I ain't scared of no disciple. <laughs> okay, I was a dragon. I'm like, what the fuck is a dragon? What? <laughs> You know how old your gang gotta be be named after some shit that's not even real, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was a motherfucking dragon. I said, look, I, I hear you that you was a dragon and all. <laughs> I said, look here, man, we was a gang and a band. Wait, I don't give a fuck if y'all was both things. <laughs> These young dudes will murder you out there. I said, let me tell you something, okay? You don't believe me, do you? I said, it ain't that I don't believe you a dragon. I just, it just, I mean, I just don't believe in dragons. That's what that comes down to. <laughs> <laughs> he said, look here, I got something to prove it, okay? So my mama was in the kitchen cooking, right? He said, hey, baby, could you get my dragon jacket, right? <laughs> my mama smoked cigarettes, so she's like, which one, the blue jean or the leather, right? She in the kitchen cooking. <laughs> <laughs> so she go get this, she get this dragon jacket. It's not even a jacket, right? It's a vest. It's really a dragon vest, but he called it a jacket. I don't know why. The sleeves was cut off the jacket. It was shingling at the shoulders. He had a big, colorful dragon on the back. of kind of faded because he watched it a couple times. And he had his real name. He didn't even have a gang name. It said Milton on the front. I'm like, you ain't got no, you ain't got no damn gang name, daddy? 
I didn't need one. I was melting on the bongos. Okay, whatever. So, <laughs> so he put on his dragon jacket, right? Now, he didn't took his whole shirt off because I guess they didn't wear shirts with the vest at that time. So he took his shit off. Now he gets all chest hair showing. And he had this little chain in the chest hair. It was like a little cross. I couldn't tell if it was a cross or... I don't know what it was, but he had this, the chest hair was all around the little charm he had on his chain. <laughs> so he got this dragon jacket on, and he started getting ready, right? Which is weird. I ain't never seen nobody get ready for a fight. <laughs> so go get the old spice. So he got some old spice, put it on for a fight. I've never seen somebody put on cologne before a fight. He just... <laughs> got this little ass fucking baby fat vest. That's really what it was. <laughs> and he go down the stairs. So these little dudes look at him come outside. He come outside cool as shit. And they looking at him like, hey man, who the fuck is this old ass dude with this warrior's outfit on? <laughs> he like, look here suckers, I'm gonna tell you who I am right now. My name is Milton. <laughs> Milton Howery. And that Cadillac you're sitting on is mine. I paid the payments, right? He's <laughs> going through all this shit. They're like, man, look at old man. We don't want to beat your ass and shit. You all by yourself. He's like, oh, I'm by myself. Jimmy on his way. <laughs> now, what I forgot to tell y'all that he called Jimmy, <laughs> who's the only other living dragon left. <laughs> right? <laughs> and Jimmy don't know what's going on. <laughs> Jimmy didn't graduate from the gangs. He's just a businessman to drive a van with a Bluetooth on. That's it. So, <laughs> so Jimmy pull up with this van, right? <laughs> you could tell it was an old ass van because it had curtains on it. And he pull up. <laughs> and when he pull up, you hear Billy Ocean playing when he pull up. Like, when he pull up, you hear Caribbean Queen when he pull up. <laughs> My daddy walked to the car like. <laughs> so I'm looking at all this out the window like. I'm like, oh God, what's going on? My dad's like, hey, Jimmy, look here. Okay, we about to have a rumble. <laughs> and Jimmy, old, like, you ever see somebody so old they gotta take off their glasses just to hear you? <laughs> <laughs> so my daddy's trying to talk to Jimmy. Look here, Jimmy, I'm trying to tell you what's going on. He's like, what? <laughs> say it again. Wait, hold on, what? <laughs> Wait a minute, you ain't say nothing about no damn fight. I thought it was Spade Tuesdays. I thought we was playing cards today. You on your own. I'm done with the dragons. And he drove off. <laughs> I mean, there ain't no punchline to like, they beat the shit out of my daddy, right? <laughs> they beat him up and shit. And I was like a little kid. You know, I don't know if everybody ever said they daddy get their ass with, but you, you ain't gonna help, but you just yell, leave, leave him alone. That's my father, y'all. You just mad that you ain't got no daddy in your life. <laughs> Start crying. He was loud. <laughs> All you saw was my father vest in the street and cars driving over the vest. <laughs> my mama, she walked up to me like, "Look here, <clears throat> go get your daddy vest and bring it back upstairs so I can wash it." <laughs> and that's what happened. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Leah. Okay.